I decided to go with E-Trap. Look where we are. We couldn't wait until tomorrow morning. So, we decided to come to our storage. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves to get here in a timely fashion because the gates lock at, uh, we just found out we had five extra minutes. They lock at 6.50 p.m. Uh, we were in Sacramento today um, for Stand for the Sand. There was a great turnout. Thank you guys, all of you guys that came out to support. Uh, Leah, Danny, you know, we love you guys. You guys, you know, awesome job getting that all put together. It's too dark in here. I turned the power off last time. Nice. We just hooked up and we're getting ready to take our trailer home on Friday night. Look at those running lights. Oh, good. Okay, so we're back at it. We have the trailer back at the house and we're gonna we'll show you what's going on. I have a mess. I'm out of breath. Been running around climbing on stuff, all kinds of things. Here's what we're doing. Hey, it's a meat track. So I decided to go with e track and we laid out a chalk line so we can get it dead straight, even though really we're just going along these existing tie down points. But we want to make sure we laid that down straight because once we screw it in place, it's not coming up. I mean, it could come up and there's gonna be holes. We don't want that. So that's what's going on. Then we'll have these little rings. We'll show you the car in here in a little bit. Yep, drop these right in place. Like so. And then we just pull the car in with the tire right on top of that E-track. Put the wheel bonnet around it. We're good to go. We got a mess in here. We're laying out all kinds of projects. Getting this trailer ready for President's Day. We had breakfast in here. So that's what's going on. We'll be right back. Okay, so what we're doing now is uh, we let out, uh, let's see that trailer says it's 12 foot garage. We didn't go all the way to the end. There's some, uh, I'll show you. Anyway, we're about that far from the end. We have two 10 foot piece, pieces laid out, kind of temporarily screwed in place. Then we measured, we have 22 inches left that we gotta fill up to the wall. And I wouldn't worry about that except a portion of it is where the tire's gonna get tied down to, or the car. So we're gonna measure out 22 inches right here. And we're gonna cut 22 inches. And we're gonna fit it in there. I'll show you that. Let's go see if it fits. If it fits, we'll clean this end up because it's a it's a little it's a little sharp. Alrighty, so it's a little sharp. We're gonna be careful with it right now, and then we'll test fit it. If it fits properly, I'll show you right now. We will clean it up. We're gonna put the cut end against the wall, and then we'll put some silicone or something to cover it. Awesome. Yep, perfect. Left a little bit of gap there, just, you know, expansion, contraction kind of thing. Um, and that's just how good I am at being accurate at cutting. Well, I guess I could try harder. There we go. It's gonna drop in perfectly, look at that. 
There's that. And then this one right here. Yeah, perfect. All right, we're gonna temporarily screw that in um, with these little weak screws. And then we'll come back and put the more permanent screws in. We'll be back in a minute. I made sure it fit, and it does fit. Take a look. Oh, look at that. So I got some temporary screws in there. Just I wanted to get it laid down with some temporary screws. Just a few here and there. Just to get it all lined up straight and make sure it fit. Got a little bit of a gap for expansion on that end. Uh, and this is what it looks like. Now we're gonna put the, the more permanent screws in it. Comes to right here. And really our gate covers up that much anyway, so it's not usable beyond that or even through that. And yeah. So now we're gonna put the screws that belong in it in it as soon as we find them. What do you think? What? What do you think? I think this garage is a mess and I don't know. They're probably in here somewhere. I just Yeah, we're looking for some screws. I'm not sure where like they're at. Needle. It's like a screw in a mess stack. Yeah, this is the mess from unloading our old trailer. Yeah. Um, um so we gotta find them. We'll be back. Okay. What's going on, man? What's going on? So we're working. <laughs> working? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on back here. All right. Here's what we're doing. We got the we got lag bolts. We got one inch, quarter. We got them somewhere. We got quarter inch by one inch lag bolts that are going in this. Every other hole, all the way down. Um, they look like this right there. And we're gonna put those in right now. We'll come back in a minute because it's going to be boring. I'll show you in a minute, though. Okay, so we're making some progress now. And guess what? I'll show you why. Look. That's why. <laughs> Danny's on the job. That's why oh, we're making yeah. some progress. <laughs> Tricky, huh? Tricky. All right, we'll be right back. So we're pre-drilling every other one on this. And then we're using a quarter inch by one inch lags all the way down every other one it's not going anywhere so uh, i already know look i already know i already know someone's gonna have a better way to do it and sometimes those things are helpful and sometimes they're not and so anyway go ahead and make your comments we appreciate we do actually do appreciate all of them i'm just kind of joking around i've gotten many great ideas like someone already commented you know that 5500 ONN generator is a gas closer. Get a little one and run it. Dean actually does that. He has an auxiliary tank. He runs that thing almost 24 seven on just a few gallons of gas. So that might be a possibility. But right now we're gonna run what we've grown. Bring the, run what you run. Exactly. So I think where we left off was we were putting, we were putting the E-Track in, we were screwing it down. So we finished that up, Brandy's back, and we're testing this system out. And you did a good job. Today. We're gonna. These will be washed. Yeah. Well, we have one brand new wheel bonnet, one old one. Okay. We're gonna show you how this system works. So basically, what I did, I'm gonna show you in a minute, is I took a wheel chalk, I put it behind the back wheel, and I put one of the um, uh, E-Track rings behind it, locked it in behind it, and backed up to it. So that locks the back end. You don't even have to figure out how far to go back. It stops you at it. So like that. this. The back end's just like this. Right? Right. And then see how it's locked in. The wheel chalk's locked in by the E-Track. Um, Track. By the E-Track. Yeah, she just let that go as far as you can that way. Like uh -huh. that. Yeah. So the E-Track ring locks in the wheel chalk like that. Did the same thing in the back. Let me see if I can get, get back here and show you. And so what that allowed me to do was, hopefully you can see this. Hopefully you can see this on camera. But so the E-Track ring has that wheel chalk locked in place and then you back up to the wheel chalk and stop. And you're right on it. And we don't even have to think about it. And we know how far over to be because we're right on the Right. That's the easiest enough room to get out of the door. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you don't walk around here. I have to climb over through the window again. Yeah. Look at that. Even a gal can do it. Even a gal can do it. Look at that, it's on. So, and you can go tighter. This T track is strong. Look at that. Feel like yeah. all good? Oh yeah. This car cannot move. And 
The cool thing, it's tied by on the wheels. So the suspension can still cycle, right? And it can still do its thing. And that doesn't pull the straps loose. Okay, and we have room for paddles, we think, right? Yeah. Oh, plenty of room. Plenty of room. Yeah. So I'm over. I'm way over. We could actually squeeze back the other way a little bit. And we're, far, we're back, too. And we're far enough back. So we have... Here, let me go show you. We actually have room in the front, probably an inch or two. Look at me. Hey, I just, I'm sitting here, and I didn't even move, and you walked past me. Right. Me so we have an inch or two uh, free in the front, even after we close up the... Porch. The porch. The front porch. And we have all this room right here. Anyway, so, yeah, even I am going to need a step... A step ladder to reach these cabinets. This is that's as far as I can reach, just to get them open. So, reaching any so anything inside of them is a challenge. But these are the blacked out curtains for the windows. We're gonna put those back on for tonight because we're gonna leave the car in here. Uh, yeah, three of them. All right. So, yeah, worked out great. This is gonna be so much easier than what we've gone through in the past. Let's take this out. We don't need this anymore. Step ladder. Yes. We'll be forgetting in here. Um. For so the first time ever, I can see in this cabinet. Oh, and, and how's it look? It looks just like a cabinet. Guys, as you know, my husband likes to leave some anticipation at the end of uh, the video sometimes. So if you want to be in the know and one of the first uh, to see what's going on behind the scenes with Dandy. Um, then you should probably click on the link below and join us on our Patreon page. Um, Tyler J. knows. Just ask him. Thanks, guys.